hello this one is the file for the code and i will explain it line by line so the first line is to clear this workspace and clear the command window and close all the figure so these three command represent the same thing which i have explained over here the clc will clear the command window the close all will close all the figure previous data and clear all will clear the workspace in the first line I have created a variable the name of this variable is file name and it stores the data which you have sent me and the data is this one I have stored this data in a CSV file the name of this CSV file is my data and if I open it you will see the values the data is such such form the first variable is the time the second and third column represent the variable name beat variable 4 variable name 5 and the other are empty so these are about 79 values 78 values I have read this data and I have stored the content in a table and if I open this table you will see all the content of the .csv file after that I have extracted the first variable of the data which is the variable name 1 and it stores the time instance where the, the time at which the beat has occurred like if you see the first beat has occurred at this instant of time and the second beat has occurred at another instant of time which is about uh, one second away third beat has a very short distance from the previous so these are all the time instances at which the beat has occurred the R wave have been occurred now to find the, the difference in time, the, at how much uh, uh, duration the heart beat R wave form has occurred. So you will see the time difference between the first and second beat is 0 0.508 second. The second and third is 0 0.4904 second. And the uh, fourth and fifth is 0 0.543 and so on so this is the time difference between the r waves in order to implement that uh, formula which you have sent me and that formula is this one in order to implement this equation for the rms this D, <coughs> I have to, <coughs> I have to make a square of all the R waves. So all the R waves have been squared, and the result have been stored over here. So the square of the first value, which is which is this one, zero point three nine three zero. The square is this one. 0 0.2581 the square of the second value is this one so after the square I have sum all the values and the sum of all these values is 121.8170 and then the length of the beat so the mean of these all values have been calculated and the value has been stored in the rmsdd variable which is 0 0.1433 after that I have calculated the RR interval <coughs> in minute so the total number of seconds in one minute are 60 so the 60 divided by, divided by the RR duration <coughs> it will give me the RR interval which is 118 it give me the how many instantaneously uh, how many uh, heartbeat can occur 
in uh, at an instant this is the time and if you look into the plot you will see it li look like this a number of heartbeat at an instant mm, it will be it is about 120 then it has increased then decreased and then at a certain instance there are 260 beat per minute so these this, this value fluctuate these are the x label y label and the grid so this was all about the code thank you so much